This is how you do a reset on an AEG lithium battery pack. Apparently the same as the Rigid, uh, which I think is sold in America. Um, these are a fairly easy pack to work on. So to dismantle the pack, you basically pull out four T10H. The H applies to the dimple that's inside there. So you have to have a, a T10 that has a hollow in the end of it. So you undo the top four ones, then a bit of wriggling, and that just lifts straight off. That's the top part. Inside's the battery. Then the two shells, they separate. Just a little bit of twisting and plying and um, they come apart if I can do it. Here we go, they make one side and then another side and that's the battery pack inside. That's your um, temperature sensor. So what I've been able to uh, figure out over time is this particular chip here and the legs on it, they end up with um, dust and metallic dust from because it's a drill, um, ends up in the circuit around this particular area. Um, and so what you have to do is spray mass airflow sensor or some sort of um, cleaner on there, but make sure it's nothing that's going to dissolve the circuit board. Um, and then using a Q-tip, clean it off, paying attention to those sorts of areas. So, uh, and then scrubbing it like that until eventually it cleans up. When you've pulled the pack down, you need to do a visual inspection. So you need to go along and check all the ends, make sure there's no corrosion or leakage of any electrolyte. In particular you look inside those areas, this is the positive side, you'd lift that pad up and have a look underneath that as well. It's a negative, that's a positive side, see these are all perfect. And then what you do is you do a voltage check along them. Um, in the case of these when I pulled it down, each pair see how they're, they're done as a pair, that's a strip, that's another strip, that's another strip. So each pair I measured and they were coming out at 3.5 volt. And because it was all reasonably even, I knew that uh, there was a probability that the batteries were all good. Um, it's not a guarantee, but it's a probability. So in this case, I would suggest what had happened is that dust and metallic dust had built up, probably bridged some of the legs on the IC and because of that uh, it went into a protection mode, went into a safety. So all I had to do was do a reset along those pins there which is the one closest to the pack and the middle one. The one closest is the reset, the one in the middle is a ground. Just bridge those out and that gives a reset. So you could also spray the MOSFETs, the legs inside here, um, apparently they can even be triggered just by touch. So um, spraying and cleaning around there, um, around the chip. Um, I have heard that sometimes when you do spray it, it'll actually cause conduction in such a way that it'll activate the lights along here, the, the test button lights. Um, but once you've got it all clean, uh, give it a bit of a, a blow off with some compressed air or um, possibly say a hair dryer but don't get it too hot of course because it might be flammable chemicals. Um, once that's all done then it's fairly well ready to be put together. Assuming the reset is successful when you push this button here to test the battery. In this case all lights are lighting up which means it's a fully charged battery. Job done. If you have further problems, I'd look at these quite seriously, checking for cracks in them. Usually if they fail, there'll be a crack in them. 
Um, if it's not that, then it's possible that the chip itself has failed, in which case the BCM's shot, and salvage the batteries and use them on something else. Putting the case back together couldn't be simpler, it's just a reversal of how you took it apart.